So now you've got this CBDC that requires ID. So what's the big problem, Majid? What's wrong with that? Think about it. Every single transaction in your life that you will ever do and ever have done will be logged and registered on an open ledger because that's what the blockchain is. Now, Bitcoin avoids this because you don't need your name on your Bitcoin wallet. So it will be a number on the, block, uh, on the blockchain ledger. Yes, you can be traced by some clever detective work. That's fine. That's like cash. But what CBDCs are is your national identity tied to a digital currency that will log every single one of your transactions forever. Because once it's on the blockchain, it's, you can't erase it. And that gives you absolutely no anonymity. And the second concern is control, because this currency can be programmed. And when it's programmed, it means that it can be set by government and determine, it can determine what you purchase and what you sell and what you buy. And so if you go back to Canada and what happened with the truckers' protests, of course, there the problem is, if you're a persona non grata, if you support a cause, if you support a, 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 some form of magazine or platform that is thinking outside of the box, uh, you're on a list, you can be penalized, and of course, uh, it's an incredible problem. So these are, the, these are the problems that this currency presents. Now, it's going to come anyway. Nothing much we can do to stop it. So I'm going to conclude by saying, how do we make sure that our rights are guaranteed, even though this uh, phenomenon is on the horizon and is coming at us anyway? And the answer there is we've got to make sure that we protect the off-ramp. Whatever that off-ramp is in the form of a decentralized digital currency that allows for you to trade without being traced and tracked and without being controlled, we've got to make sure that that currency, that off-ramp, that decentralized version is protected. And it's no coincidence, and my last point, that countries around the world, lead, led by China, but others as well followed them, are banning Bitcoin exchanges. So our responsibility becomes to protect the off-ramp so that there's a choice so that you're not permanently involved in what is total slavery or serfdom 